Welcome back guys. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the intake version of FSR for upscale in conjunction with XCSS frame generation in GTA 5 Enhanced. We'll be testing the game on my ROG LA that comes with Windows 11, Radeon 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. Even XCSS low latency mode will work. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. We'll be using OptiScaler mods version 0.9 preview 4 2025 build available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Click on the dot .7g link here. Download will start. FSR SDK was leaked a month ago. It included files corresponding to the intake version of FSR 4. These files could be used to compile an FSR 4 TLL. Big thanks to Atli Dependent 926 Reddit user for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the Go file link here. Download AMD Fidelity FX Subscaler DS12.TLL file. Click on Download. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod, just open its archive file, select the highlighted files, OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.tll, libxcss underscore fg.tll, xcss framegen file, dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required, libxcss.tll, xcss upscaler, libxcll.tll, xcss low latency mode file, fake nvapi.ini, fake nvapi.tll, Fake NV API will replace the in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode. New Cam 9 mode not required. FSR frame generation in this game produces very ugly ghosting around a fast moving vehicle's bumper. This ghosting is actually caused by temporal upscalers. FSR frame gen just makes this ghosting effect more aggressive, more noticeable. Vulcan version of Fidelity FX not required. Select all of the DS12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Right click, copy, need to paste these files in the game's install directory, select the game in your steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files, paste everything here. This game does support FSR 3.1 officially, both upscaling and frame generation, replace. Now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll, select the file, right click, rename, type dxgi. Done. Now I'll be installing the intake version of FSR 4 upscaler. Copy its AMD Fidelity FX upscaler ts12.tll file, which you download it from Reddit. Need to paste it in the game's install directory. Replace the existing file. Replace. That's it. You can only use this mod with the game's campaign mode, cannot be used with GTA Online. So before launching the game, make sure Battle Eye Anti Cheat is disabled. Just open Rockstar Game Launcher. Click on settings and from here you need to uncheck battle eye. That's it. Adrenaline settings for the game pre sync and v sync on. I've set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. My life sending on BIOS version 342. Install Alan's latest official GPU driver that I had support for. Battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 27 watts 900p resolution. CPU boost disabled, connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to LMI Bluetooth mode, X input controller. We'll be using RTSS and Afterburner to show you the performance metrics. Open RTSS, click on Setup, scroll down to the end and make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject. NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker settings are disabled. Just enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting. We are ready to run the game. I'll launch the game from Steam Play. In game settings, display mode set to borderless full screen, 900p resolution, no FPS cap applied, vsync off, reflex on, most of the settings set to high, frame scaling just set it to DLSS, using the upscalers quality preset, frame generation disabled for the time being, sharpness level half, I'll set the settings to high, by default they were set to high to ultra. Lighting quality high. With these settings, VRAM usage will be below 5 GB. Long shadows on. Post effects just set it to normal. Population density, population variety, and distance scaling slider set to 50%. Extended distance scaling set to 50% as well. Apply. Need to restart the game. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. I'll just increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1.2. Upscaler selected. XCSS version 2.0.2. Here we are getting around 82 FPS. 
I am in Franklin's house. Input in game DLSS. DXJS spoofing is on. Required for unlocking the in game reflex setting. Auto expose setting. Enable it under init flag section. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Base resolution 1067 by 600 pixels upscale to 900p. Okay, I'll just switch to intake version of FSR 4 upscaler. Click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select FSR 3.x as the option. Click on change upscaler. FSR 4.0.2 selected. Model setting set to default. It automatically selected the model 1 for me, which corresponds to the upscaler's quality, ultra quality preset. Show you the image quality. Yeah, I'm noticing some shimmering around the window. See, very aggressive shimmering effect is produced, and this is when my character is not even moving. I'll just change the FSR4 model to 0. Resume the game. That shimmering effect is almost gone, even during fast visual motion. I'll just go outside. You can also drop the upscaler's preset to balance in game DLSS upscaler. This will change the FSR4 model. Change it to 2. Here we are getting around 66 to 70 FPS. I'll just set DLSS quality level to balance. Apply. Open OptiScaler menu. Click on the drop down bar next to models and select default as the option. Model selected 2, which corresponds to the balance preset of the in game upscaler. Save and I close. Inside Franklin's house, yeah, no shimmering is produced around the window. Mesh quality is still looking quite clean and sharp. It's good to see. I'm not observing any ghosting around Franklin's character model. This game becomes very heavy on the CPU while we are driving our vehicle around the city. I'll just highlight this issue. Temporal upscaling produces some ghosting around a fast going vehicle's bumper. FSR frame generation makes this ghosting effect more aggressive. There's the ghosting effect that I'm talking about right here. Take the left turn. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. We are getting close to 65 FPS. Showing some ghosting crash. Yeah, we are not hitting the GPU bottleneck here. 90% GPU load. Okay, now I'll show you how to enable XCSS frame generation using OptiScaler mod. This game supports DLSS frame generation and a streamlined version, newer than version 2. So I'll be using DLSS GUI streamline as a frame generation source. This way we won't be required to deal with hotfix. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSS GUI streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to XCFG. If for some reason you want to use FSR frame generation with anti lag 2, select FSR FG as the option. I'll stick with XCFG. Click on save and I close. Need to restart the game. Play. After restarting the game, you need to enable the in-game DLSS frame generation setting. Yeah, it got unlocked. And this will force enable reflex. Upscaler DLSS using its balance preset. Reflex is still on. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. Check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. This will enable XCSS frame gen. Yeah, frame pacing graph became thick. Debug view. If XCSS frame generation is working, these purple sidebars will show up. I'll use Intel's Inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features. Just minimize the game. Run Inspector app. Select GTA file from the list. Double click. XCSS frame generation context. Working. XCSS to latency mode. Working. You can see the valid frames getting generated. All good here. Back to the game. I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section, check the setting, FPS enable, full plus graph, 1.3 scale, base resolution, in the balance preset, save and I close, leave the house, FPS is close to 95, animation quality, yeah it's looking much smoother than before, show you the crosshair, 
no ghosting is producer on the crosshair this is the real world input delay nothing extreme xcss low latency mode is doing a good job of cutting down the latency in this game fsr frame generation produces a slightly better performance than xcss frame gen but it's difficult to recommend the former due to the graphical artifacts it produces around the bumper of a fast moving vehicle very ugly ghosting let's observe the bumper of my vehicle no excessive ghosting is produced minor ghosting is present which is produced by temporal upscalers in this game fps is close to 90 while driving a vehicle around the city so very good results produced by both fsr 4 upscaler and xcss frame generation gt5 enhance change the camera perspective oh my god ran into that guy truck just observe the vehicle steering wheel and the left stick give you an idea about the real world latency both of them are working in sync controls are responsive show some combat as well start shooting people <laughs> <laughs> no signs of stuttering. This guy is dead. We have wanted level. Up scale cost is around 4.7 milliseconds. Yeah, it's highly recommended to use FSR 4 up scale in this game. If you want to reduce the up scaling cost, just drop the resolution to 720p. It's completely up to you. You can even run the game at native 720p resolution, then use FSR 4 anti-lazing. Just set the upscaling option to DLA. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.